good morning. This is uh, my first night in the UK on my trip towards Scotland and it's now seven o'clock in the morning, still quite early and uh, I do have to say this was quite a good sleep. Didn't have it cold. I have plenty of time today because the next destination is uh, about a, a four hour drive further up north. So that's my first experience in the UK in a tent. And uh, <laughs> so far, so good. That was my first day in the UK, the first day of the entire road trip going through Scotland. This is the next day and I'm heading now for Belfort, which is a little bit f further up north. And uh, I'm making a quite large tour now, this is the plan for today, through the Northumberland National Park. Suddenly, I came across this sign. I'm driving across this area now, and it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's pity of the weather. It's grey and it's damp, and uh, well, cannot call it rain. It's drizzling. And camera completely. Yeah, that's pity. That's pity. Lost it completely. Yeah, I just know I can drive back, but I don't have a clue where I lost it, so... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm thinking that you know, the last time I know it, it was there, but I'm not completely sure about it. I have to drive miles back look into the ground there and find it, but I can try that a couple of miles and see what's happened. Thank you. 
I drove back for a couple of uh, kilometers, but of course I didn't uh, see a thing. And if I would have seen uh, the camera on the ground, then very likely it has been broken down completely because it smashed on the ground. So uh, finally I decided uh, to skip it and just uh, continue uh, the original route and that's it. It is what it is. Having said that, the Northumberland in itself is beautiful. Look what we have here, the Hermitage Castle. There was a sign alongside the road pointing in this direction, so I thought, well, let's have a look. Hallo? Hallo? Ten minutes before I uh, should arrive on the camping site in Belfort, which is about uh, 100 miles. 150 kilometers uh, south of uh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh, I need to say Edinburgh. Belfort, it's already on the sign. It's quite close by. I have to look at the right side. Yep, my turn. Buddle Bay, indeed, the Buddle Bay campsite. Almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Plenty of time. And looking at the road, lots of rain has fallen here also. But that is everywhere the case. So. Reception. That looks a little bit modern. Okay. Reception, please mind the step. Yes, indeed. Okay. So the guy at the reception said to me, do you want to have some kind of tarmac for the bike? Because otherwise if you put it down, it might be that it is sinking into the ground because the grass is very wet. Well, I thought, that's good thinking. So let's do that. So I have a place for the bike, so it can't, can't fall over, and I have some grass to pitch my tent. Perfect. Thank you. 
a lot. The reception guy said to me of from of five miles there is a very beautiful castle, the Bamberg Castle, and, and this is it. I'm allowed to go in for just the last hour. Well, I think I'm going to do that. That's a castle. That's really a castle. The east side of the United Kingdom. So if I look very closely might be that I can see the Netherlands, the other side. <laughs> The castle closes at 4 o'clock, so I was a little bit too late. Uh, to see houses, can I choose here? Yeah, I think I can choose here. Okay, fine. It is a huge castle, absolutely. Really a huge castle. It's nice to drive the bike without all the luggage, to be honest. Now it feels quite normal again. Especially uh, the heavy uh, case at the back, the top case. Is something that is uh, ruining the handling of the bike a little bit because of the weight behind the axle. It makes completely sense, and I knew it up front. And here is the campsite already. That's quick, it's quicker than I had in mind. Okay, no problem. Busy on the camping. A lot of caravans, motorhomes. But I've read somewhere that this weekend is so called bank holiday. And a lot of people have. Uh, couple of days off. Hi! 